Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to dimension our container lid in base with Fusion 360. All right, so when you get a chance, go ahead and open up your base here. We'll, we will do the container base first, all right? And once you have it open, come on up to design and then come on down to drawing and we're gonna do a drawing from design. All right, come on over here. Let's select our sheet size and I would like you to select sheet size A, 11 inches by eight and a half inches and select Okay. And now the first thing you're going to do after you place your views here is to go ahead and save it. Okay, so I have this here as my front view. I'm going to click right here. Okay, but notice a few options over here. I can change it. I'm going to change it one to one, make it a little bit bigger. Let's see here. That's probably pretty good. Okay, I'm going to delete our title block down here in a second. I'm going to click here. Okay. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to bring in my, uh, I'm going to click base view again. And now I'm going to bring in a nice 3D view. So I'm going to select like uh, maybe this one, Southwest Isometric. That works. It's your preference. I'm going to select the Southeast Isometric. And I'm going to add some color here. I'm going to make it shaded. Okay, you can make it shaded with hidden lines too. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit OK. All right, and the one thing I want to do is delete this guy. So I'm just going to click it and hit delete. Okay, and then I, I'm going to click on this guy and edit view because you know what? And I'm going to click on my part once more. I want to make it color again here, shaded. And then I'm going to hit close. Okay. All right. All right, so once you got this, once you have a drawing sheet that looks something like this, okay, now we're gonna create a section view. So imagine we could take a lightsaber, right, and just cut this thing right down the middle. Well, and you could see the inside of it. Well, that's kind of like what we're gonna do, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on up here now to section view, we're gonna click there, okay? And we're gonna kind of just kind of click on our part, click again and drag out a line and then click again and get your lines, yep, exactly. Once it looks like that, right click, continue, and then you're just gonna drag with your mouse out something like this, okay? And once again, we have some options. Let's make it shaded, same scale, one to one, and hit okay. Okay, and there is our section view. All right, now notice I can move it with, by moving that plus sign I can't move the section view, I'm sorry. I can move it here and notice the section view moves with it. Now if I click here, I can move this guy up, okay? And so that looks pretty good. Now we can start adding some dimensions to it. Now remember, a dimension drawing file is extremely important, all right? If your company was to produce this part, they would need to know the size or dimension of every single feature on this part. So it's important that you always always dimension every single feature on your part okay and you don't over dimension it or you don't under dimension it and you follow all of those dimensioning rules we learned about earlier all right so let's come on up now to dimension I'm gonna first dimension the overall size here okay I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna drag my mouse down and click there all right now I'm gonna hit escape because I want these to go to one more decimal place so I'm gonna click on that guy and I'm going to click here. I'm going to come down to point one, two, three, and hit close. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for this guy. Click here. One more decimal place over. Hit close. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and dimension the lips here of our container. That little edge that sticks out. This guy right here. But we're going to do it over here too. So let's come on up to dimension. I'm going to click here. Click here. I'm going to come on down. Okay. Right right around here and I'm gonna do the same thing now for this side to this distance and I'm gonna bring it out a little further okay alright I'm gonna hit escape now to take me out of dimension mode and I don't like where that 3 is so I'm gonna move it over here okay and same thing I'm gonna to go to one more decimal place okay now I'm gonna go ahead and dimension our radiuses here so we're gonna come on up here um, 
to our and remember radiuses and arcs and circles need a leader line so we're gonna come on up here and we're gonna click here we're gonna click there and we're gonna type in four because there's four of these guys right X and our radius is 0.5 all right and go ahead and hit close okay we're gonna make one more right here and we're gonna type in the same thing for for space X another space but this time our radius is 0.38 inches okay and hit close and then for our final one we're gonna come on over here and we're gonna type in four space X space and 0.25 and I forgot the R let me put that in there really quick and then hit close all right now let's go ahead and start placing some dimensions on our section view here all right so we're gonna come back up to dimension I'm gonna place my overall dimensions here I'm gonna click here click here go up and we're gonna do the overall dimension here right okay I'm gonna hit escape I'm gonna change that once again to one more unit hit close and now we're going to dimension once again our lip now you really always want to place dimensions on the view which one of these best shows the feature and they kind of both do so I'm gonna place them both on I'm gonna this one shows the the container lip a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and dimension that okay so I'm gonna go here and here and I'm going to move my 0.25 inches out. Okay. And then I'm going to click, I'm going to zoom in here, click there and there. And I'm going to move that one like that. Okay. However, we want to add, and this is very important because in order for our lid to fit right, okay, we need that 0.125. If they were to match, manufacture that to 0.13, it would not fit our lid would literally not fit on that thing. So it's very important that you specify 0.125 there, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and dimension the floor of our container thickness, okay? Which is 0.2 inches, okay? But I'm gonna just hit escape and double check that real quick. Yep, okay. And now we're gonna do the height. We're kind of doing some chain dimensioning here or datum if even really all right so 0.75 okay Oop. I'm gonna hit escape all right I'm gonna zoom back in here and that's it for this part okay hopefully you have something that looks like this this thing's ready for production okay you can hand this off to the manufacturer and they can start making your container well actually in my class you are the manufacturer as well so there you go anyways make sure you like I said you go ahead and save it please and we're going to call it container based drawing is good and hit save all right now we need to dimension our container lid all right so um, let's go ahead now and open up our container lid go down here to manufacturer and we're going to basically repeat the same process we just did so drawing from design sheet size a and hit OK Okay, and as it loads, I'm going to bring in once again my front view here, but I'm going to change my scale size one to one to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it shaded. Okay, and hit OK, and I'm going to move it obviously. Okay, don't want it there. I'm going to delete this title block here, and we're going to now. All right, now let's go ahead and bring in our 
3D view here. So I'm going to come on down. Let's go with the same view we did last time. Southeast isometric. Click. Make it shaded. Hit OK. And now let's go ahead and make another view. Okay. Because this one has a chamfer on the top. And I want to make sure that it is. We can see it here. Once again, one to one. Okay. But we, I want to flip it around. So I'm going to go to back. And then that way we can see that chamfer that we put on the edge here. And I'm going to click uh, right here. Hit OK. OK, now let's go ahead and make a section view of this guy. I'm going to move it down just a little bit here, something like that. And I'm going to come on up to section view again. And we're going to do the same thing we did last time. Just going to kind of click here, click there. Got to get it just right. I'm going to click continue. And then I'm going to drag it out over here. Okay. And hit OK. Okay. Let me see. I got to, let's move this guy so it's on our sheet of our drawing sheet. I'm going to move it up just a little bit actually. Let me see if I can move this guy up. Okay. Space everything out sort of, you know. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, now let's go ahead and start adding some overall dimensions here. I'm going to come to dimension and let's click on that edge, click on this edge, and then move my mouse out. Okay, do the same for this guy. Click here, click here, and move my mouse down. I'm going to hit escape now to get out of dimension mode. And I'm going to come on, I'm going to click on my dimensions. And once again, like we did last time, we're going to add one more decimal place to them. Hit close, click on your dimension one more decimal place and hit close. All right, now let's go ahead and start dimensioning our lid a little bit more on our section view here. So let's see here. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to move this guy up just a little bit. Move this guy down a bit. Okay. And now let's go ahead and dimension our lid thickness, which is 0.21. OK, we're going to dimension our overall thickness. Click on that edge. Click on that edge. OK. And then our lip of our lid. Okay, we'll move it later. I'm going to go ahead now and hit escape. And we got to definitely be detailed about this guy. So we got to give it one more decimal place. Okay, and hit close. Now, if you click on it, you drag that gray square over, we can move it over here. Okay. And let's see here. I'm going to try moving these dimensions a little closer, so I'm going to zoom in. All right, now that that's a little, let me move it down a little bit. There we go. All right, looking pretty good. All right, and one of the things I meant to do earlier is to specify a bilateral tolerance. So I'm going to click on this dimension here. And notice, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add what's called a symmetrical tolerance or bilateral. In order for our lid to fit, okay, a tolerance is basically the acceptable amount of variation we can have in our part in order for our lid or part to function correctly. So it's got to be point. Uh, plus or minus 0 0.001. Okay, so think about what this is saying here. So our target dimension here, we want every part coming out of our factory here to be 0 0.122 inches, this thickness of our lip here. But in order for our part to function, we can allow a little bit of variation. So if we add or subtract 0 0.001 to our target dimension, 0 0.122, okay, we can get 
that's the acceptable amount of variation. So 0.121 in our lid will still fit. 0.123 in our lid will still still fit. But anything outside of that our lid simply will not work. In other words, our lid will not fit onto our container or it'll be too loose and you won't have that nice snug press fit, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and add our final dimensions here with some leader lines. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna click right there. And I'm gonna type in our chamfer size 0 0.007 by 45 degrees and let's see our symbol. I'm going to come on over here. I'm going to put in our symbol and uh, and I'm going to just hit spacebar and type in chamfer and hit close and zoom back in. So there you see our chamfer and look at it. I made it wrong. Let me fix that. Okay. All right. And now let's go ahead and do those radius fillets again here. Where did our leader line go? There we go. So we're going to come on up here, type in four space capital X space 0.5. And don't forget to put the R in front of it there and hit close. And we got to do one more here. Four space capital X R point three seven eight and then hit close. Okay. All right, and when you're all done, you have all the dimensions on there necessary to make the part. You're good. Go ahead and save it. And I'm gonna call it container lid drawing and hit save. Okay. All right, that'll do it for this drawing tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.